Okay. Uh, let's see. Mothership number nine, which is moving across the ocean, approached the shore and launched an alien invasion. The Air Force attack has failed to stop the enemies from landing, and our main for main ground force can't get in there in time. Deploying units on site and fend, fend off the enemy is our only option. Please hold off the enemy invasion until reinforcements arrive. And we're going to be underneath. That doesn't feel... I don't know if I could air raid this one. But let's try it anyway, and see if everything goes horribly, horribly wrong. But no, I am straight up waiting for the day when one of my, like, semi-distant semi relatives just shows up and says hi. Because <laughs> it's gonna happen. I, I've got a couple of cousins that are about my age. Most of my family has nothing to do with the internet or video games, though. Uh, I got a couple of cousins that are getting old enough, or... My cousins have kids Is that are getting old enough. Okay. Die, stay alive. It's almost my the turn. Fight is I can't die. Prepare Shoot! for battle. The landing ship is deploying aliens. Okay, so sprite fall works Another regardless. Ship can be left alone. Eliminate everything else. Secondary question. I, I got to make sure I'm underneath. So sprite fall is going to work regardless. Are afraid of this power, so they sealed it. Enemy spotted. Launch! God damn it, is this crimson again? Yes, Come on! Leave it to me! System reboot. Launch ready. Okay, so all of my guns can just shoot straight through the mothership. Pretty close, you have still good taste, air raider. You have good taste, Air Raider. Beam! Shoot! Okay, so unfortunately my base range is kind of garbage. A new type of drone! General the mothership is deploying drones! So they sealed it. Destroy the drones. Prepare it now. Landing ship confirmed. Fire. I'm just going to operate under the assumption that this is probably a terrible idea. But it's working really well, so I don't want to stop. We're gonna have to go get HP at some point, though. Otherwise, it's gonna go real bad for me. Landed in South America has destroyed Shelter A. We've lost over half our supplies. There it is. Launch! I should probably go recruit some of these guys. Otherwise, we're going to be in trouble. We might be okay. I should break. There's a reinforcement! The reinforcement is on its way. Hold your ground. I've been shot. Hold on. Enemy landing ship incoming. Let's see. I don't see... Teleportation ships incoming! I don't see any more... Pretty close, but still out of range. Don't worry. Aliens on the surface. Wow! Holy crap, did that work! Wow! Oh, 
Gigantic unloader Barga. Attack the mothership. Beam! You can't die. Shoot! Scatter them! This is working better than I expected. Get another crate. Be afraid. Shoot! Alright. Gigantic unloaded barger. Storm the enemy lines. I think. I think I've discovered the secret to success in this game, which is go nuts with uh, Sprite Fall. Infantry, use Barga as cover. This is Do we have any other aliens on the way here? The answer is very solid no. Well, this gun of light can eradicate everything, including gods. Kind of doesn't matter. Yes. Time for a bit of joy riding. The mothership is gaining altitude. It's going to dra drop some nasties on us. However, the mothership is rising. Damn it. It's getting away. This is Barga, unable to pursue mothership. Enemies in the back. I know. Eliminate the rest of the enemies. Wait. The Barga is able to pursue? What? We'll get you Wait. Like, is it gonna follow it? I thought for a second it was gonna like latch on or something ridiculous like that. Because that'd be hilarious. I can't believe some some of my allies survived this mission, by the way. Like there is they had no business surviving the sheer amount of artillery I was dumping. Oh. Hey look, reinforcements. I'm aiming at you! Sup dudes! How's it going? Out of my way. Must grab all the loot I can. Drift. Oh, he said unable to pursue. That makes more sense. I sometimes I guess I just mishear what they say, and I'm like, wait a second. Would that be, that would be like the raddest shit ever if you just saw like the uh, Barga like jet jump up and just like hold on and start like punching holes in the uh, in the mothership. I would I would love that. This game needs more like ridiculously hype moments. Honestly. I wonder if they're gonna do that with, uh, Iron- Iron Rain or not. Like if, uh... How much of their, uh, missions are gonna try and just, like, go hella hype? Because if you do it right, all you would need is some, like, camera perspectives and whatnot. Or even the player. Like, you hop in the Varga suit and it's kind of like low-key quick-time events. Where it doesn't show, like, any quick-time event prompts, but you're still, like, latched onto the thing. And you're just, like, wailing on the mothership as the Varga, you know, missing your legs. Shit's exploding left and right, and yet, you know, you're, you know, it's playing the EDF song in the background. Oh, that would be so hype. Suddenly Pacific Rim. I mean, a little, I mean, you, you can have Pacific Rim without it being Pacific Rim. Are we still going? I thought this mission was about over. Awesome. Oh, mothership's gone. It's dropships. Can you tell I haven't been looking up this entire time? This thing works pretty well. 
Yeah, these guys will take out everything else. I'll just take out the uh I'll just take out the drop ships. Dude, what would my thoughts be on a dream cla Dreamcast Classic or Mini? Any games I'd want. I will admit, I actually have only ever played two games, three games on the Dreamcast. I think Monkey Ball. Uh, Monkey Ball, Power Stone, and Fantasy Star. Those are actually the only games I have ever, ever had the uh, the pleasure of playing on the Dreamcast. Oh, and Sonic Adventure. Shelter D has also been destroyed. We're running low on supplies. It's going to be an uphill battle. So what? Why do we even need all those supplies? Haven't you noticed we're running short of personnel? The last mission is literally just going to be me. They're just going to drop me in the area, aren't they? I've been paying attention. There's a bunch of stuff in the water. Oh, well. Yeah, Fantasy Star Online with online features would be nice. Yeah, there are private servers you can get. But, absolutely. I don't know. I really like PSO. That'd be kind of a fun game to set up like a private server for. I wonder how hard that would be. No Crazy Taxi? Uh, I actually played Crazy Taxi on the arcade uh, cabinet, which I don't know if that's the accurate one or not. I don't think Sonic Adventure counts as a pleasure. It was amazing back in the day. Back in the day. We found a monster cave close to the drop location of those teleport anchors. It's possible that the anchors dive, diving deep underground are transporting monsters. The vanguard is headed into the cave, and the follow-up force will catch up soon. Go with the reinforcement and support them. Ah, uh, let's see. What do we want to do? Unfortunately, my air raider is not worthless. But it's not great. I have the Dexter, the better Dexters. Let's go better Dexter with this guy. What else do we have? I've got a hand gatling. Cause I think I have a better no. Really? We found we got nothing for this guy. Okay, hold on. We're gonna go we're gonna go uh do one quick uh one quick grind, see if I can get a better booster for the for the fencer, and then we'll go from there. So the port was fairly faithful. You just had continues instead of coins. Neat. Yeah, I, I've never I've never actually played Crazy Taxi, to be totally honest. Attack! Stop them! They're too fast. The bridge won't hold if the monster gets on it. Fall back! Get off the bridge! Back off! The bridge won't hold. I really like the look of the Blast Twin Spears. It looks fun. So, Epiphania is a good private server for episodes 1, 2, and 4. Yeah, I don't remember which one I, I had used when we were playing it recently-ish. I wouldn't mind doing it someday, it would just be tough. But no, I actually didn't really get too much into console stuff. Uh, I had an N64. And that was kind of it, uh, I guess as a casual reminder to how my family works. They kind of didn't really do the whole, uh, they kind of didn't really do the whole, uh, game system thing. They definitely didn't do new games. Like, it wasn't until, like, middle school that we had, like, a GameStop nearby. Whoops. Uh-oh. Okay, we're good. Do we have any space balls coming? I want to see if I can watch them again. If I can. But yeah, I I grew up with... Uh, I grew up with a lot of PC... There they go. Harder to watch as Fencer. Fencer. 
Nah, I'm not going to be able to... We'll just see them land in a second. Boop, 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 boop. This is going to be awkward because we are fencer and so freaking big. Uh, but yeah, so my, my parents didn't really do the whole new game thing, ever. Uh, you know, for... Jeez, it wasn't until I was like 10 or something that we actually started buying some new games occasionally. And it was because my grandmother gave us 100 bucks, which was just the price of a uh, N64. And so, uh... So we were able to finally start picking up some new games for, uh... For the N64 at the time. And mainly, we didn't even buy new games. We just rent stuff from Blockbuster, so I never even really got the chance to, uh... I never even really got the chance to beat anything. Uh, which kind of explains my, uh five-year quest to be used to beating and finishing games uh, for YouTube, because straight up, like, I straight up, I wasn't used to beating games ever. I'm totally, like, from childhood used to beating them halfway and then leaving them done and moving on. Anyway, uh, but yeah, so for the most part, we did, like, rentals and stuff. And yeah, the idea of having multiple game consoles was inconceivable. The idea that there were even uh, console exclusives for other, uh, you know, for other consoles? Nah. Not something, uh, my family really thought about or even cared about. I don't think we picked up a PS2 until it was towards the end of its lifespan. Uh, which should mean I, uh, at that point I could start buying some old PS1 and PS2 games from, uh, once again, local GameStop. Unfortunately, it was, like, kind of your, the standard, like, bad GameStop. So a lot of the discs were, like, scratched. I've got Final Fantasy Tactics and, like, Digimon World both beach. just barely function. Makes me sad. Why do we get so much more as the fencer? I don't really understand this bit. Oh. One of them's still alive. Okay, there we go. Uh, but yeah, so it wasn't until, like, high school and stuff that we really started getting new games. And I'll admit, like, I definitely did download my fair share that I've now purchased, honestly. Uh, but so Dreamcast was one of those consoles that I didn't even know about until it was more or less discontinued. One of my friends picked up, like, a Dreamcast and, like, a billion games for it. And then was, like, almost immediately furious the next day when he found out that uh, Sega was canceling or, you know, canceling support for it. Which sucked, too, because, like, I was a huge fan of PSO. Those are the first MMO I ever saw, and one of the first sci-fi games I ever saw. And, like, it's still probably one of my favorite. The, uh, the world, the kind of, like, the mystery, the, uh... Because, you know, you arrive on, like, a colony planet, and everyone's dead or gone or missing or something, and it's like, well, where'd they go? What happened? Uh, and you eventually find out it's just kind of the standard Eld Eldritch evil from every Fantasy Star game. Dreamcast did amazing in the States, but failed in Japan. Huh. I wonder why. I... Was it the price tag? No, PS2 was grossly overexpensive. I don't really remember. But, yeah. So, I had one friend that had the Dreamcast. He barely let me play it. There was... Oh, jeez. What was it? We tried playing Power Stone, but he was so good at it that I straight up just couldn't compete. Uh, I didn't even know what was going on. He wouldn't let me learn the controls. He was kind of a bad friend, admittedly. Like, he was... He was your classic, like, selfish, uh, self-centered, only child rich kid. Except for he had an older brother, so he... Not only did he have the, uh, The monster... You know... Not only did he have the, uh, the classic, like, uh, only child rich kid syndrome, but he also had the, like, kind of little brother syndrome, too. It was a bad mix. Okay, so we actually didn't get really that much that I'm looking for. I mean, the minigun and the triple barrel cannon got upgraded, which is exactly what I'm looking for. We did get a high altitude impact launcher. That might be interesting. But yeah, I was hoping for more. 
Okay, lock on nine targets, lock on time half a second. We could try it, it's good, got good range, good damage. So what's that? Ooh. Ah, I was really hoping for range. So the triple barrel cannon has more damage, more beacon capacity, and the minigun has more range, more beacon speed, reload speed, and damage. Nice. So that was worth it, even if it's not the same. Okay, so we want to go. Let's let's try fencer. I don't know if high altitude's gonna work the way I want it to, but whatever. And yeah, thank you, Solaire, for the uh, for the. Uh, let's see. Is that an 18 month resub? Damn. Yeah, it is. Soon TM. The contact has been broken with the Vanguard. We're yeah. here to rescue them. Yeah. Many teleportation anchors fell down into this area, oh. and they're teleporting the monsters. I can't believe there are teleportation anchors underground. They'll keep teleporting monsters to the underground if we don't find yeah. them. If that's the case, we're doomed. We have to get to the bottom of this. Well, it's not exactly what I was looking for. But honestly, oh well. Should have equipped the uh, the shotgun, honestly, to go along with this. But whatever, I'll live. Honestly, probably should have just done double grenade launcher. Y'all really shouldn't get in front of me. It's really a bad idea. Show it to them once they're in range. Well, at least we can heal them. Oh! So the Blast Twin Spear actually rockets me forward. That's kind of helpful. Get out of here! I'm still not a big fan of the hand gatlings in this game, comparatively. That spin up time is just a little tough. A Gatling and a shotgun might not be a bad mix. Given the situation. Oh, yep, there's the teleportation anchor. I made a mistake. Take them out before they get too close and kill us all. Well, at least I can reload while I'm on my ass. Anchor has been destroyed. Reloading is easy peasy. Okay, okay. I might be okay with one single shotgun. The high altitude rocket launcher is kind of pointless here. Kind of pointless here. Yeah. Extremely pointless here. Oh well. It's life. He dead? Yeah, now he's dead. Yeah, so it's not going to be the prettiest mission, but I think we'll get it. And if we end up in... Oh. Damn it. The sh The, uh... The fire rate on this shotgun leaves a little bit to be desired. We'll be okay. I'll just get, um... I'm just gonna get bodied a little bit here.
a little a little bit too much, but that's okay. God, I'm so glad that there's no limited ammo in this series. How awful would that be? Okay, there we go. This is the this is the room that I wanted to be in. Okay. Of course we got a king in here. Oh, good luck, guys. I am currently reloading as hard as I can. Get out of here. I hope you enjoy bullets to the bug. Wow, did he die? Okay, so the high altitude missile launcher was absolutely the wrong. It was absolutely the wrong choice with everything, but that's okay. I'll make it work. Just gotta break this thing so we don't get more. Okay, I'm safe. Ow. It's dead, you dunce. Well, I gotta give credit. I wonder what happened to the Vanguard. Gatling gun's pretty effective here. The reload speed, though, leaves so much to be desired. EDF Iron Rain doesn't have limited ammo. Neither do. This is EDF Five, not Iron Rain. By the way. But no. Oh. Wait. Iron Rain is gonna have a limited ammo. I'm gonna need- oh god. I'm gonna need a second opinion on this one, because limited ammo in an EDF game sounds horror bad. Like, can you imagine half of- you'd have to have, like, ammo drops left and right. I can't imagine many situations where that would be actually good or fun. Oh. We're getting attacked from behind, and this man is done for. Well, I will save you all! With this singular gun, and I guess a blast hole spear. Oh. Okay, so bad news. Should not do spear attacks while trying to shoot the Gatling gun. It actually doesn't work. We need to get the hell out of here! A rescue team has been dispatched. Hold it together! You got it! I'm losing my mind! Stop shaking. You better be sure before you say anything. I'll show oh, boy. Fun with pill bugs! Incoming! Okay, I think I'm safe for a smidge. If I'm not, these guys better pull their weight. They never pull their weight. Yeah, I could probably pull off double shotgun and actually have it work pretty well in this. The enemy is around. The battle will soon begin. Okay. Iron Rain, however, you have a limited number of shots for your primary and secondary weapon. Uh. uh I'm not looking forward to that. Still out of range. 
Also, thank you Hydro Wisp for the seven month resub and the hundred bits. Have fun with that first place again. For the moment. Until someone takes it. Here's competition, apparently. Can't stop shaking. That's absolutely wrong. I'm hoping the limited ammo isn't isn't too punishing. Because I've never liked limited ammo in most games, to be totally honest. It just never feels good. I mean, there's some games where it's okay. More or less where limited ammo forces you to switch weapons around and whatnot. Like, I could work with that. Oh. This is not a spawner. This is a spawn point. Oh no, there is a spawner in here. They said hold out until rescue arrives. That's a damn dirty lie. Yeah, I was kind of hoping the high altitude missile launcher would work well in like open rooms. It doesn't. Anchor successfully destroyed. Sir, yes, sir. The armor's damaged. Now get to a med. I'll take care of it. I probably should have reloaded that hand. Get. Oh God. Hi. That's a lot of dudes. Well, it's fine. But yeah, next time I'm just going double shotty for tunnels. It is more than... It, it's more than sufficient. I merely brought the high altitude impact launcher along in case we had a... Uh, in case we had another one of those, like, big rooms that I had to, like, uh, survive in. Or not survive in, but, like, kill everything in. Because having the high altitude should work in that kind of situation. I guess if I aim down really far, the character will... The character will be fine. Y'all gotta stop this. Uh, it's it's okay. I'm all right. Want to explain what that was? Prepare to engage. Yeah. Yes, sir. Hello. Yeah. Ow. I attempted. I did not succeed. Got it. Oh, it's still going. Today is such a tiring day. I knew you would come. I'm not seeing things, am I? The reinforcement is really here. I thought I was gigantic monster. It was a king. Yeah, I already killed one. I already killed one. Hello. I am death. Destroyer of your face. Ow. So how would Doom Guy, Doom Slayer do in the EDF series? Uh, probably better than anybody else, honestly. Like, I don't think the Doom Slayer would have as many problems. He would carry... How many guns can Doom Slayer carry? Because... Effectively... Oh, hey. We've spotted a king!
Now this one's blue. And I'm not sure why. Might not be a problem. Now, oh, there's a bunch of anchors in here. That's fine, though. Knock me down. Okay, I should probably take out. Never mind. Nope, yep. Take out these things first. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I honestly thought we were just supposed to hold out until survival time. But that was not actually the case. Sup, King! I don't get to do that very often. And it's dead. Wow. That's a pretty effective combo. Looks like it's a pretty expensive combo, though. Now, is that all of them? Nope, another spawner. Oh no. Well, I live here now. That's okay. That's okay. I am the hero that saves humanity. I'm meant to do this. It's just. Why are these blue out of curiosity? We got one. We'll miss your target at this range. Hold your fire. Sound good. You're good. Okay, what about missile time? Uh this might have to be missile time. And that's got way better range. Oh, there's another king. Okay, so the hand gatling was a good choice. I don't I might I might do blast twin spears and the shotgun and then the ha two hand gatlings in the future. That might be the smarter, wiser, better option. Hmm. Honestly, they're dead. I think you're all dead. Oh. Balls. Holy crap. There's people left alive? Nope, now they're all dead. Okay, I think we're good. There's a boatload of HP just kind of hanging out down here. Okay, just had to get to it. Almost These guys do a bunch of damage. Has been destroyed by the motherships. So what if they destroy a city? They're deserted anyways. Monsters are being dropped by the aliens in the mountain regions. They're trying to hunt down those who fled into the mountains. Okay. So we've got... One left. I should probably just... I don't know. Also, thank you, Hydrowis, for gifting a sub to Hero Number Zero as well. Thank you so much. 
Okay. Uh, d d d d d I'll just grab these and we'll go. I don't really know if any of these are really that helpful. I'm gonna spare you. Whoa, that didn't work. Fine. I wanted to spear it right in the spider, but it didn't seem particularly... <sighs> didn't get it. Alright, whatever. And we got a bunch of upgrades. Nothing immediately or amazingly helpful, but that's fine. But there's so many.